So earlier this week I said I would do a separate video on Brett Kavanaugh. It's Sunday night and this seemed like a good time as any uh, to do a quick uh, five minute Frank and Scree on my uh, thoughts on Brett Kavanaugh. Now on Thursday is supposed to be the uh, date in which his uh, accuser, Ms. Ford, uh, was going to go in front of the, uh, um, the Judiciary Committee. As I'm writing, uh, talking right now, there's a second accuser that has come forward um, by this person's own words uh, in the article uh, in the Times. She doesn't remember all the details. She says she was drunk. The other people there don't even necessarily say that Brett Kavanaugh was there or that she was there or that this even took place. This isn't about right or wrong or true or untrue. This is about perception. And the perception is, is that Brett Kavanaugh is tainted goods. And how much longer do Republicans want to burn political capital on tainted goods? Now, in the words of Yoda to the late Obi-Wan Kenobi, in Dagobah, when Luke left to go be with his friends in Bespin on Cloud City, and Obi-Wan said that all is lost, Yoda said, no, there is another. And there is another right now. The nomination, whether you agree or disagree or believe it's true or untrue, the perception is, with the general public, and the, most importantly the voting public, is they don't believe Brett Kavanaugh. And now that you have a second accuser, even if it's absolute horseshit, people will believe because there's more and more on it. The more crap you pile up, the more you can smell it. But there is another. Amy Coney Barnett. The person who was qualified, who was one of the five at the end, is 46 years old, has the, uh, the bona fides for the justices to be on the Supreme Court. While you wouldn't pull the nomination right now, put her name in for consideration. Yes, it will not get done by October 1st. Yes, there's a vetting process. Could it be after the midterm, but during the lame duck session? Yes. Does that mean that our hopes to get all of the cases that are coming through heard in front of the all nine justices and a lot of things are going to be tied four and four? Yes. But... Even if he's completely innocent, and this is all horseshit, people are going to smell horseshit, and they're not going to care if it's bullshit coming from his accusers. It is time to kill the baby. The baby is Brett Kavanaugh. Kill it, replace it, and move forward. Put her name into nomination, and while yes... There are plenty of women who have been accused of sexual assault, and there are plenty of women who have committed sexual assault against other women and other men. It's far less likely. Move on, get her done, and close this chapter. Because the longer that you wait, just like if you've got a, a scar on your arm and you put on a bandage, and you take longer and longer to rip that motherfucker off, it's going to hurt even more. This is about politics. This is not about right and wrong. Whether whatever happened in the privacy of, of between these two, if anything, is irrelevant. What's relevant is the politics. And it is time to move forward from Kavanaugh and to go with the best choice because it's that... It's just that necessary. There's nothing wrong with switching people when it comes to making a nominee. Okay? Just like uh, uh, Alito was not Bush's first choice. And 
And that's turned out fine. Sometimes you just got to say, let's get her done. So that's my five minutes. And, you know, Donald Trump's not going to listen unless I buy an ad in Fox News. And I don't have that kind of money. But, uh, yeah, it's time to move forward as a party and time to get rid of Kavanaugh as our choice. Thanks.